So right now, I'm starting to label some of these. And kind of saying where they should go next. So some of these are gonna get sold. Some of these like this are kind of become a parts cabinet slash nearly complete um, game. And so it's it's kind of sad because if, if I remember correctly, I mean, obviously the controls are missing right now, but I believe we have the controls somewhere, but a lot of those gears have been taken. So that might be all that's keeping it back, but um, we're gonna test it and see, but it's probably still gonna just go to deep storage. All of our locations right now have a stand-up fixed gun shooter, either Terminator 2 or RevX or both. Um, so that's kind of, this one just needs a cap kit, probably headed deep. This one, I'm gonna have them check this chassis and see what, what is going on, I don't know. Um, interestingly enough, not this Blast City. The other Blast City, I just was told that it's just dark, so we might be testing it some. So it's a 27 inch tricing monitor. It probably weighs, I don't know, 100 plus pounds. Um, maybe, that's not even the problem. The problem is all four of these bolts, boom, 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 boom. You have to go on at the exact same time and um, at the same angle. And so really, there's not, there's not really finger clearance built in here. Um, so really, really tough for one person, two persons, so what we did is we all, we're all three just kind of adjusting it as we went until it all lined up and boom, went on. And this one has just been capped. Um, this is probably the worst environment to turn on a fresh cap monitor because it's going to look washed out no matter what. We might roll it in uh, once we get it all mounted back and everything. But first, I imagine we can get the bolts back on, connect it, turn it on, make sure we see an image, and then probably roll it in to see how good it looks. Okay, I'm gonna turn the on. Yeah, it's on. No, it's, you can see it, it's just dim. So we can try to adjust it, give it time to warm up. All right, guys, this Blast City, we we're hoping to resurrect. Um, they just capped the entire board. It's something like 50, 60 caps replaced. Turn it on. We've got kind of um, an image. It's still a little dim, um, but as it was warming up, it was coming more and more into focus. So we're assuming the flyback is just going out. It's not generating enough uh, high voltage to push the image and to give us an actual um, uh, image that you can adjust, bring the colors out to. Um, could also be tube age, stuff like that. We don't know for sure. Um, we know that the, it looked like behind everything, the image looked pretty crisp, it looked pretty good, it just wasn't getting enough brightness despite being maxed out and everything. Um, so, it's like contrast being all the way, brightness being all the way. So, um, for now, we have to kind of decide, we're gonna put a note on here that says fresh caps, good, you know, generally a good chassis, except for it's too dim. Um, and start working back on that at a later date, now that that's complete. So it's missing the power, Molex. Yeah. Where's the, there's another cord. Where's that going? Is that this? No. All right, yeah, so it's missing its Molex that used to probably go to a plug, presumably. Um, so that's interesting. That's weird. Um, let's go see if we ha have any, I guess. We might have a kit or an actual already pre-wired power cord. Here's a story of a man named Brady. So we save stuff pretty often. We've got new power cords, weird replacement plug power cords. What I wonder is if it was long enough to just do a plug kit on it. How long was it? So I guess it'd be a little short. I guess we should see where this goes. Is this just going up here? What the hell is that? Is this just all like hacked up? Yeah, so interesting thing about opening these up, YouTube. Um, we're coming in here blind. There's a bunch of extra power cables here, but it looks like we might be able to, and it looks like there's been a replacement power supply installed at some point. Looks like we've got a bottom transformer, but yeah, let's just grab a a standard power cord and try it right there. Um, and yeah, for any of y'all watching on YouTube, there's this weird power cord, full AC power cord 
running up, which looks like it's going up to the marquee and maybe it's some weird operator hack to get the marquee working. Well, check that next. But first, we're just trying to turn this thing on, see if it works, see if uh, it is what we thought it was. Nothing yet. <laughs> There's a switch. There's probably two switches. Or at least two switch holes. Yeah, here we go. Well, that made a sound. All right, and you can see kind of how even, you know, having done this for a long time, you can get kind of sidetracked um, by these weird, weird things. So I bet what's gonna happen, see it's testing the steering wheel, but I bet what's gonna happen is we take this off and the old operator has installed like a lamp or something up there to try to work. But it's hard to see with so much light, but we've got monitor on, it's calibrating the steering wheel, looks pretty good, hopefully. It says press gas to calibrate. Press radio to skip tests. We'll go ahead and skip test for now. Uh oh, maybe. Press gas. Let's see if it just needs on both. Yeah, there we go. It says link disabled, some version. Initializing network, no network. Hey! So again, YouTube, we're outside and it is sunny as anything. So it's impossible to see exactly how good that monitor or how bad it is. But now you're gonna try to drive it, check the the shifting and everything as best you can and see what the issues are so you can get some notes. Cause yeah, as you can see that monitor's coming in, I bet if we we're in a dark room, it'd be pretty good. This is an Atari fire truck. Super, super cool, super rare game. Um, and, and one of the coolest kind of bar games in the early kind of era of the arcades because it was two players. Because you know, on like a real fire truck or a big long fire truck, the full size, there's a rear steering, right? That actually controls those back wheels and moves it around. So this was actually, and it's pulled out right now, but this is the rear steering wheel um, that controls the back of the fire truck. And this is the front. Um, and we just tested it, they got it off. Uh, we're still having a little bit of a sound issue, but it's really, really fun because you work together to navigate through the town, right? And save people. Uh, just a genius game, black and white, very, very simple. Um, but really one of the all-time greats, and we wanted to get it out. Um, but to be honest, most of these black and whites have not performed well. They're not necessarily high usage games. And when we try to set them up to free play, we have to go through all sorts of stuff that often involves installing like a, a credit button. And there's no good spot for a credit button without hacking. What This is, uh, this is a true museum piece. Um, so I probably won't make it to free play. Try to get the sound going and maybe uh, maybe potentially figure out a good place, a, a better home for it. Um, so that's what they're working on right now. Really old tech, really, really cool. All right, guys, they've been working on California Speed. Throttle issue, shifter issue. Uh, ultimately minor stuff, but still a pain to deal with. So uh, I know they've been working on it. It'd be really nice if we could get, be able to write the word good on this one, put it in the warehouse and you know roll it out for Dallas. Uh, later, or maybe even like an Arlington Link Racer. All right, YouTube, so I've listed three games so far um, on the internet. I'm trying to do fast sales today because we've got a whole parking lot filled with arcade games. Um, so far, I've listed the Bliss 99, sold, gone. I think I got 250 for it, monitor chassis missing. Good deal for both sides. Um, good space, we can't test the game board, we can't test anything. All we know is that it didn't have a monitor chassis, so 250, fine. Uh, we've got this centipede, which is over here. The dirty centipede, it's, it works, it's mysterious. It all seems to work, but it needs some hardcore restoration. Control panel overlay is gone. I've never seen a track all that dirty, but bizarrely, it all works. Uh, haven't had a hit on that, but I've got people, and the worst thing about listing games on the internet is people see things like a Crystal Castle's reflection in your glass, and you'll get 30 messages saying, I don't care about what you listed, how much for the Crystal Castles? And you know, no one ever seems to care um about that so yeah here is steve responding to a blitz 99 centipede tomahawk 777 listing is that crystal castle in the reflection and is that for sale uh so it's kind of annoying to list stuff but yeah blitz is gone centipede and the tomahawk are listed i do believe uh probably the centipede will get gone today the tomahawk i went a little high on the pricing 600 not working um but honestly you don't see that game very much i think that that's the right price but i guess we'll see